Hey friends, we are here to introduce you to a brand new show called What's for Dinner with me, Tammy Dombeck. And I am here with our first chef on our first show. This is Marcus, owner of Piatello and Clay Pigeon. And we are here guys in front of Fritz Rohr's house the owner of Rar and Sons Brewery. Marcus, did you bring anything with you? Just brought my knives. Just the knives. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> we might need more than that, guys. I don't know. Let's see what he's okay, got. Okay, let's tell you all about it. Let's go inside. We're doing this show called What's for Dinner, okay? Where we bring celebrity chefs into celebrities' homes, like yourself, Fritz, and they have 30 minutes to go through your pantry, your cupboards, and your fridge and make a gourmet meal for us. So what is he going to find in there? Well, it just so happens, I just came back from a Canada bird hunt. Yeah. And I have some sharp-tailed grouse and some Hungarian partridge in the fridge. No way. So maybe he might be interested in cooking that. Well, of course, we have already found the raw beer. The good news is. So yeah, we can actually cook with beer. that, right? Of course. Yeah. Absolutely. All right, Marcus, have All at right, it. Let's see what we got let's here. see what we got. Uh, you always need carrot, celery, and onions. So we'll go ahead and pull that out. Very good, Fred. Look you know, at this I guy. Have, have colorful carrots. That's beautiful. That is gorgeous. <laughs> Celery. No big time in this house. Yeah, kind of a good base for any any dish. What what, what the heck do we have here, okay, Fred? Okay, so we have some Hungarian partridge and sharp-tailed grouse oh, that wonderful. I was gonna have for dinner tonight, but I guess. Oh, you still are. <laughs> well, we can make use of that for sure. So now, we'll Marcus, have out. you ever cooked with something like that before? I, not quite exactly that, but I've done a little bit of gaming. Okay, so, we're yeah. going to see. So here we go. What else do we have? We got some butter. We've got lemon. All right. Um, mayonnaise. No, thank you. It's expired, so we'll leave that out. Um, <laughs> look at this. Only Fritz. Raw beer and whole birds. How about that? That does about do it for your fridge. Let's see what we got over here. Flour. Saw that. I'm thinking chicken and dumplings. Ooh, chicken and dumplings, with, but without the chicken. With the partridge and, and grass. Yeah. Partridge and dumplings. Yeah, partridge and dumplings. We said we'd give That's you about a it. favor lifeline. You probably need about five other items. What are we kind of thinking? Well, if we're going to go partridge and dumplings, we're going to definitely need um, probably some chicken stock. Chicken um, stock, so that's number and, one. And buttermilk. It looks like we're missing buttermilk. You don't buttermilk. Have you know, it's not something I normally eat. <laughs> Okay guys, favor has come and gone and we have our extra ingredients and now Marcus is underway. You know, we're working with what we got. Prince has a, a I don't have a less than equipped kitchen, so we're just gonna use the back of the knife here to peel our carrots. <laughs> You have two restaurants in Fort Worth. Yes, ma'am. But you, this is something you probably wouldn't cook at Piatello, but this is something you would make at Clay Pigeon. Uh, probably not. No. Um, <laughs> but you never know. You never know. We you never know. We do change our menu up pretty frequently yes. uh, over there at Clay Pigeon. So, so you never know. It might find its way on there one of these days. All right, now we got that butter up to temp a little bit. We'll put in our carrot, celery, and onions. And we're just gonna cook that down a little bit till it gets a little translucent. Um, so just, they call it sweating out the vegetables. So that's what we're gonna do, just let that go for a few minutes. So we just dropped the dumplings inside the stew. Uh, we'll give that about five or 10 minutes to cook in there. It'll help thicken up the sauce a little bit as well as cook the dumplings through. And, and that'll be it. We'll be ready to serve after that. We're about to plate the meal here at Fritz Rar's house, but we couldn't find a ladle. So Marcus is like, we got it. Let's just do coffee a coffee mug. Coffee mug is as good we as got anything. It. Hey, that's right. Ooh, and it smells amazing. It really smells delicious. I'm really proud of you for what you had to work with. Yeah, thank you. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. 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 Thanks for having to us. To Fritz, Chris. to Marcus, thank you so much for being a part of thank our you. first show. Thank you. This is, I would call this one partridge and dumplings, but obviously at home you could substitute chicken. Mm, what delicious. Do you think? Not too bad. Really delicious. Really good. Oh my God. Oh my God. So good. Like heaven. 
This is delicious and it looks beautiful. Thanks so much guys for joining us on our first edition of What's for Dinner. And for Marcus's recipe, you can go onto my website at greetsandeats.com. Thanks guys for joining us. Thank you. Thank you.